Hi, today I'm going to talk about these incredible Rocket Life LEDs that are completely custom programmable using their free design software. And you can write your own unique program without writing any computer code. Hi, welcome to Gray Lightning, my video blog about making things and playing games. And I don't know about you, but many of my favorite projects have had a lighting component in them. And one type of project I've done is what's called edge lit acrylic. So this is an example of that. There's a string of this type of LED in the bottom. And you can get a remote like this that has predefined programs in it that you can run under your edge lit acrylic. Now for about three years, I've had in mind a project where I'm going to do five layers of a landscape and that means five strips of LEDs and I wanted to be able to create custom programs to simulate sunrise and sunset in my picture and different seasons of the year. So up until now the only way to do that is to know how to do programming which I don't. So I've, that's why it's been on the list for three years but now I've discovered these great new Rocket Life lights the box that runs them, and then the free design software that lets people like me write custom programs without writing any code. Rocket Life has this style of string, which is kind of like what you'd put on a Christmas tree or the front of your house, uh, but it also runs these strips that are used in edge lit acrylic. So this is what I'm going to be using in my project. There's a lot of presets in the software that make it easy to use if that's what you want to do. So if you're doing a display for your house, you can use those presets. And by the way, they let you import a picture of the front of your house and do the design on your house, so it's very cool stuff. But anyway, um, but if you want to do something completely custom for your house or for your edge lit acrylic art project, you can do that as well. So after just a little bit of experimentation, this is a program I was able to create just as a test. And I'm going to simulate a sunrise in the middle of the strip. So um, this was something that after about 30 minutes of playing around with the software, I was able to do. So I think it's incredibly powerful. I'll talk about the product and the software in this episode. Let's take a quick look at the parts that come in the Rocket Life system. This is called the light box, and it has a USB a plug on one side and a plug to go to the lights. This is a real plug and play driver that cost about $90 on Amazon. But there's a smaller version uh, called the Lightbox Mini that's only $35 and it does all the same stuff except it does not have a battery in it whereas the Lightbox does. This is the two meter strip I'm going to use in my project. It's waterproof, it's got an adhesive strip on the back. You're able to cut and uh, solder between each of the individual lights. 30 lights per meter and it costs $18 on Amazon. When you get the light box, it's set up for this meter strip by default, and you can just go ahead and run the demo programs on them and see how it all looks. You can connect to the light box through either Bluetooth or near field communication. The design software has a timeline and a WYSIWYG UI so you can see what's happening in the virtual strip above. Every new project starts with just red lights in it, and I just dragged and dropped a warm white after the red and now I'm running the program to see how it looks on my virtual lights. The first step of a new program is really setting up the layout for your particular lighting situation. So there are some default layouts here, the matrix, the circle, the two meter strip I'm working with, and already divided into some groups. Creating your own custom groups is easy. First you just hit the plus button to say how many groups you want, and then you use the group selection tool to select a group of LEDs. Click on the number and now they're in that group. So here I have a strip with three groups in it. So let's see what the programming looks like for that. I now have three timelines because I have three groups and I'll just drag and drop three different colors in and you can see the red, yellow, and blue. I wanted to do a test to see what it would take to do a simpler four layer edge lit acrylic piece. To get four of these strips to fit into a base, I'm going to need to cut them and wire and solder them together so that I can make these tight turns in the base. 
And I'm able to simulate that in this software. And I've also put it into four groups. So now I have four timelines and I'll just put different colors in and run it. Now I'm going to replace these with a directional pattern and I'm doing this just really to test and remind myself that this is a zigzag now. Because of the way I've wired it, it's going to go back and forth across my piece. And I have to remember that when I'm doing the programming. At any point I can push a button and demo what I'm working on on my actual strip. And you can see here exactly what we saw on the screen the zigzag, even though of course I haven't cut the strip yet and wired it together. The software comes with a lot of different patterns already defined that you can just drag and drop into your program. So this one's called a back and forth spear, and you can see these colors going back and forth. You can then edit these and create your own custom presets and save those for future use. One of the many ways you can edit it is by changing the colors. This one has two colors in it. It started out green and red. I've just changed it to blue and magenta. And I'm going to change this back to green just so it's a little bit easier to see what's going on and take a look at some of these other ways you can change it. There are really so many different things you can do to the waveform, to the timing, to the location that I really found myself just sitting and playing with it to try to familiarize myself with what was possible and what wasn't. And so far, everything we've done is just with a single layer for a group, but you can add multiple layers on any group of lights. So here's a solid red underlayer with a purple streak pattern over it, and you can see what the combination does. Anywhere a line is black, the bottom layers show through. Actually, the only limitation I've really found is that based on simultaneous animations, the most you can have is seven groups of lights with four layers each, and I don't think that's going to be a problem for the project I have in mind. After some experimentation, I decided to try my sunrise test, and I'm sure there's many ways to do this, but I opted to do it with two groups of lights meeting in the middle. And then I found some presets that had to do with revealing what was underneath. So I put a skyline in on both groups that started darker blue and got to a lighter blue. And then I did these reveal patterns where I set the color combinations going from a deep orange through yellow to basically white. I then saved it to the light box as a new preset, and here's how it actually looks on my strip. This was really the moment at which I realized that I could now think of lighting more like an artist would and less like an engineer or a programmer. The design software runs on a PC, but there's a mobile app that lets you run any programs, turn lights on and off, control the brightness, and even schedule the programs to run. The string lights are also available on Amazon for $18 for a 10-foot length 50 lights. When I first plugged them in, the red and the green were switched, but I found all I had to do was go into the settings for the light box. The 2 meter strips are GRB, I just switched it to RGB and everything worked perfectly. In the layout I put in my house and I used the scaling tool on my door to set the scale of the image, and then I could see how many lights were really required to do the different parts of my porch and I could use that layout to run simulated programs to see how they would look. I am definitely going to do something special for the holidays. But right now I'm going to get started on my next gray lightning project, which is my multi-layer edge-lit landscape using my Rocket Life lights. If you want to see how that turns out, please subscribe to my channel.